Okay, um, I'm gonna fix these. Well, not fix. I'm gonna put some tape on my seat here. Pretty rough. works so I can get a new cover so, it's lasted all of 13 years four wheelers not gave me any problems in 13 years oh my gosh I wasn't even recording I just videoed all that anyway this was in the coop um, I'm going to bring fence out that way and a fence out this way, probably about 10 yards behind me. Uh, this was uh, decking off our back porch and I turned it into a nice little chicken goop, but I just put those shavings in there. I got to clean all that junk out, but I'll probably carry the fence that way about 10 yards. So yeah, not too bad. It'll work out. All that poison oak. See how shiny it is? Clouds looked a lot worse earlier. Not too bad. I'm hoping this wind will quit them. Let's go see if we can go through the creek. going back now. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this thing was just floating. <laughs> You tied a slip knot. Slipped right out. Alright, well, let's go fetch it up. Hey. What are you doing, girl? You'd have you a full fledged flipping deck, you put you a piece of plywood on there. 
Yeah. We got her lick now, fellers. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. I found the sweet spot. Look, I'm going to pull her right up. Look at there. All right, come back to the pond. Should try and catch that bass again. Since I had a bite on shatter bait, I'm gonna throw it back out there. But when I came earlier, my back started hurting. I didn't really feel all like that great. Um, I've had little cold chills, like cold chill spells, but my lower back is in extreme pain. Like. I ain't taking nothing for it. I'm drinking water, trying to keep fluids. Cause I, I don't know if it's my kidney or my lower back. I ain't done nothing to hurt my back, so I don't know. jig and uh, I got a tub full of um, uh, baits when I bought my boat this is like a frog with a double wiggle tail and I seen a fish roll over here so see what happens I don't have but like 35% battery so Oh my God, I think I missed him. Hey, good job, Freddy. <whistles> Proud of you, bud. Yeah, that's right, you take that poop. Yeah. I am currently off work now. About to uh, go try and find some sort of little flappy bird. I don't know why people are after these things. hunting it's getting a little overrated didn't see nothing didn't hear nothing I got a poop that's about it Hey, but check this out though. So literally like the past two times that I've been turkey hunting, walking the roads, I found an airhead. Uh, I'm not sure where the other one is. I'll show you the decent one first. I just found a really good one. And it's like, I found, I found a bird point before. That's what it is, it's a bird point. Actually, I don't think I have the other one with me. Yeah, I don't have the other one with me. It should be, yeah, right here. 
here it is. Okay. Let me get where I can. Oh. All right. Here's one I found last time. It's all right. This one right here though. Oh, don't lose it. It's that small, literally. Look at that one. I've found bird points before, but I'm gonna have to say that's my smallest bird point. It's got a, a tip's gone, kind of. Maybe it was made that way. Kind of looks like the tip's gone, but I mean, look at my thumb compared to it. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I guess. Sorry, I just bought it. I guess that's something be positive about. I got some chicken livers. I might go back here to the pond for a little bit. I'm gonna go home and change clothes. So there's these in the washing machine because I've used them two times and ain't washed them. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna do that and do that and then do that and then we'll be doing that. And we're here, just like that. got a little bitty egg weight here and a couple behind it just to keep it from moving up or down um and that's like a uh, three out three out hook and it's got like a barb on it so after I put my chicken livers on there I just clip it down behind that barb there <coughs> so you don't have to use it but I also do it. It's really useful whenever you um using live brim or something like that. I like it. I bought this reel from a guy. He was asking like forty dollars for it. I met up with him and it had some noises going on in there. Like, what the heck man, you didn't say nothing about that. Well, I offered him $25 and he took it. So I brought it home and fixed it and that thing works like a new one. I love it. I'm gonna get this other one thrown out there. All right, I plan on getting this one a little further out there. Yay. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at there, got me old channel cat. Swallowed the hook. Well, got me a channel cat. Just rebaited the open face, threw it back out there. Um, jerked the old bait off of this one. Could have probably still had some on there, but I'm gonna rebate it and throw it out. I changed locations on the other one, that's why that one did, I guess. But uh, there is a channel in this pond that runs from my bridge up there all the way to the uh, spillway over here, and uh, I'm guessing I threw it right in it. I mean, I know I got an idea of where it runs, but.
thought I'd share with you my little shotgun here. Um, I got me a True Glow, nothing special, just a little True, true Glow, True Glow turkey choke. And uh, <laughs> I didn't want it all black, so I gave it a little color. I painted it yellow. And I didn't want the bear one morning. My line keeps twitching. Um, one morning. I got up pretty early, was waiting on my brother to get there, and uh, I had some extra wrap left over. I've been wrapping guns this year, but I um, had some extra wrap left over, and I just did this in like 15 minutes, because I didn't really want the whole thing black. I got, I got the stuff to do the rest. I was just in a hurry, and I didn't want a black barrel, but yeah. I'll see if I can look up. Well, I would show you some of the guns that I've wrapped. Dude, I had a daggum, uh, I come back here with my airplane one evening and it wasn't too awful windy, but I got up in the air with it, you know, flew it around, had my GoPro on it. Everything went fine. Uh, I was on the way home with it on my damn four wheeler and the tail caught the back tire and I broke my plane. Well, when I downloaded a video to my computer, it was, I had clicked the button too many times and it put it in like a time lapse video. There's no way that I can slow it down enough to get it put on my computer. Like, it's just not worked out. So, and my airplane's broke. My dad said he can fix it, so. We'll see. Go ahead and end this video, I reckon. I just want to say I appreciate it. Please tell your friends. Uh, get them up on this channel. <laughs> get, get on there and subscribe to it. That way you can get notified whenever I upload a new one. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I caught a fish out of here. It's been so damn long. I hate he swallowed the hook, but... <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. No daggone pliers on me. I don't come back here prepared most of the time because nothing ever works out, but... Um... Yeah, like I said, I greatly appreciate y'all. Um, I just wish I could do this crap every day, man. Wish I didn't have to worry about going to work, which I love the people I work with. You know, I got a good job. Um, but um, it is what it is. Maybe one day I'll figure it all out and be good to go. But until then, y'all... Uh, Get ready for the next video. I appreciate you tuning in with Official Good again. Y'all take care.